everybody, I'm Nasha from Luna Ranch. Today, we're going to show you how to assemble a heavy-duty fan cage. So, the difference, differences between the heavy duty and the regular cages is that this cage is meant more for a ranch or a farm or something where it's going to have a, a little more rugged life. Um, it's got a heavier gauge wire, as you can see, versus the other one. Uh, this cage does not have to be on perfect ground, it can even be in mud, and it would still work fine. Uh, this cage is built to perform in, like I said, a rugged condition um, these are these are always very simple to assemble the reason the dividers in the center on top of the cage is because they had asked for it to be removable and at their own discretion so we took out the divider put it on the top and they could put it in and take it off at their own discretion now everything clean workspace makes everything easier to throw everything back in the box this. this has to be pointing inside this is where the tray sits on under the cage and like she has it held it has to be pointed to the inside That's your little bolt bag with all the hardware you're going to need to assemble the cage. Here's a diagram of your instructions, what you're going to need, your equipment, and how to assemble the cage. We're going to have to start off with three nuts and bolts. Three nuts and three bolts for a total of six.
the reason we have an o oval or orifice on the sides of the cages and at the top is that way you can regulate uh, the slope of the egg. So if you see that it's falling too hard or too slow, you can adjust that over time that it clogs the actual the actual floor ports. And with the floor of this panel like this, the eggs roll out quickly and effectively and it's safe for the egg. Now, what are you getting, Nigel? We're gonna get some screwdrivers and make it a Phillips or a flathead, whichever works best. The back strap just joins in like that. You might have to screw it in. And you can see that this one is screwed in. So you have to screw it out for more better. So while she's doing that, as always, our cages come with the reservoir to hose adapter here. You make a hole in a bucket of your choice and you pull it through. Usually a two gallon bucket fits the best for the, on top of the cages. There you go, just line it up. And screw it in, you can do it with both a flat head and a Phillips. These cages also come with their heavy duty plunger cut drinkers. They can be adjusted, lowered, or raised to where it's at right now, depending on the size of your quail. So to tighten it, you can use an impact or whatever you have at your disposal, and a 7 16th wrench. Both heads are Phillips, so it's easier and more common to find a screwdriver and just tighten it by hand. And if you have an impact available, then you can go ahead and use that. As you can see, it's a lot easier with it, a lot quicker. So what's next, Nish? We're gonna, it's almost ready. We're gonna have to put the feeder and the trays in. So that, that's our galvanized sheet metal trays. These can last a lifetime. You can use newspaper or wood shavings and put it under or put it in the pan itself, that way you extend the life of your pan. And then with the heavy duties, they feature a larger feeding trough, as you can see. So it's a very generous amount of food constantly and with always the lip to catch the feed. And this also, that way they can't peck around and make a mess with the feed. Um, we've got our divider on top. We just have it cinched in with these. You can just take them off and put the divider away or put it in wherever you see it fit. Okay, so what's next, Nash? Are we done? Yeah, this is done. Okay. Ready to work now. So this cage is ready for operation. And it's ready to go. Okay. Very simple to assemble. Easy, great construction cage for a ranch or a farm, like I said, or just a, a rugged lifestyle. This cage will operate. Okay, I'm David Fulminola Ranch. And Nasha Fulminola Ranch. Thank Th you and have a great day.